everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I want to talk about, and if you want to hear it, I suggest you stick around. It does, what do I have? A little white thing on you. Oh, well now I don't have that white thing on my shirt. I'm wearing nope. one of my black turtlenecks. I have like many of those. What I'm going to talk about is does reheating pasta have less carbs? Well, oh, no, does it? Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> I was looking to see just how carbish, because um, I was asked by different ones, am I doing, I thought you weren't doing keto. Well, I'm not really doing keto. I'm trying to go toward more towards the Mediterranean, but I do watch my carbs. You're, you're doing more of a low carb, low carb. than a no carb. Right. I, I, try to, I try to keep my carbs low. But, you know, some days it just doesn't work. And then there's days that I don't have very many carbs at all. And actually the Mediterranean diet or way of eating is off, is more on the coastal, not the inland. I'm from a family that was inland. They didn't have, they had mountains. They could see Mount Etna and the village had... Um, uh, community oven and it had a community well and my grandfather owned the land that had the big tree that everybody climbed and they didn't eat much seafood so I didn't eat a lot of seafood growing up but that's what most of the Mediterranean way of eating is it's a lot of seafood a lot of vegetables a lot of lagoons nuts and olives and so my way of eating was just a little bit different because of where my father actually was from so, but I, but the thing that I really like is my pastas, and no matter how you try, I could cook a spaghetti squash, but it's not pasta. I can cook um, rice noodles, but it's not pasta. I can cook a lot of things, but it's not pasta. I've had um, the whole grain pasta. I don't even like that. That's or the whole whole wheat whole wheat pasta. I hate yeah. that. Oh. It's horrible stuff. That's nice. It's nothing tastes like the pasta is supposed to taste. So I was checking to see how are the carbs you less. You need semolina flour. I, I know, but to get the flour that I really, really need, I'd have to order it probably. But what I wanted to know is, is there a way to eat pasta and have the carbs lower? Well, there is. Believe it or not, there is. What you have to do is you have to cook your pasta, but you make sure it's always al dente. Never cook it like they say on the package. They'll tell you to cook it, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, nine minutes or ten minutes or ten whatever. Minutes, 15, I don't know. Minutes, I don't know how long minutes. they say. But you don't use the clock. You just use your teeth. You taste it as it's cooking. And when the pasta is pretty much done, especially if you've got elbow or um, ziti, you can see it real good. Even with the spaghetti, you can see it. They'll be like the end of the pasta will no longer have that whiteness that's there. But it's supposed to be just enough to where when you bite into it, your tooth has a resistance. So you want to cook it al dente. Um, to the tooth is how they say. So you mm -hmm. taste it and you stay there. I don't leave my pasta. When I'm cooking pasta, I will stay there and stir it. And when you cook pasta... You always use lots and lots of water, and you salt the water before you put the pasta in. Water or, should be the, the it's, they solidity say like, of sea salt. They say that, water. but I don't go that salty because it's a little bit too salty for me. Yeah. But um, I put a lot of salt in, and it's a big pan of water. So if you're going to cook a pound of pasta, you're going to want a big kettle, and you're going to put probably a teaspoon of salt or maybe a tablespoon of salt in there, right, probably a tablespoon. tablespoon of salt in it. I don't know exactly. I don't measure a lot of times. I just go by the amount of water I have. Well, the way you can to um, lessen the carbs on pasta, they say cook it, then put it in the refrigerator. Now, some of you don't like reheated pasta. I don't mind it reheated. It, to me, it's good because if you didn't overcook it, it's still very good so when you heat it up what it is is I'll, I'll just read what I have here because I want to make sure I get it right it's called resistant starch when you when you um, cook the pasta and cool it and then reheat it it's got resistant starch 
and because pasta, potatoes are a starchy food, is cooked and cooled, it becomes resist resistant to the normal enzymes that are that our gut that breaks down carbohydrates down and releases glucose. It doesn't cause the surge that you Especially would get. Especially if you're a diabetic. Yeah. So according to the scientists, and I do have a Dr. Dennis Robinson, Robertson from the University of Surrey. I was going to look up that university because I've never heard of that university. But if you cook and cool pasta down, then your body will treat it much more like a fiber, which is great. Creating a smaller glucose peak and helping feed the good bacteria that resides down in your gut. You will also absorb fewer calories and makes this a win-win situation. I agree it's a win-win situation. So if you cook pasta and let it cool down and your body will digest it, it's like a fiber instead of carbohydrates. Now potatoes, I would say just eat your potatoes cold. I wouldn't reheat those. But they do say you can. But it's basically, this, this study was done more on pasta. And the potatoes, because they are a starch, they are less starchy if you, if you put them in the refrigerator overnight and then use them the next day. There's, there's a resistant starch in those also. So that makes me very happy. So it is a win-win situation. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I was just, and school went well. Kyle got his work done quite well. In fact, he did two extra pages because he thought today was Friday. It's not Friday, but he did them just because he thought he had to have them done. And they were really simple pages, and he would have given me a hard time tomorrow, I'm sure, with those two pages because it looked like a lot, but it really wasn't a lot. It was a very simple, simple um, lesson that he had to do. And you know, their stuff looks like their their material that they are supposed to do is a lot of games, a lot of videos, a lot of... So you can't tell what is um, their class assignment and not their class assignment. And he said, I said, what are you doing? He says, this is, this is more of my assignment. And I looked on the paper. I print out his paper. And I said, it's not on your paper, so I think you better close that up and go do your reading. He goes, that's not there. And I said, well, let's check. And so we checked, and he goes, oh, it's there. Mm -hmm. And so he just didn't want to do it. Then later, when, when all the work was done, I said, you know that math that you said that was your lesson? You can go do it now. He never did, because that really wasn't a lesson. That was probably a game that he wanted to play. And because I caught him, he had to put it away. Well, that's the video for today. I got 11 <laughs> eggs. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.